Hello friends, welcome to Chance Code. In this video, we are going to see few interesting things about Java switch statement. Though it is a very basic feature of Java and every Java programmer already knows it, still I bet you that you will definitely learn something new from this video. So don't skip anything and watch till the end. So let's get started without waiting further. Switch statements in Java supports limited data type and they are integer, byte, sort, and character. In addition to these primitive data types and wrapper data types, they also support string and enum. If we look into the history, then it is known that switch statements started supporting string data type from JDK 7. And in this video, we are going to see switch statements with string data type. By the end of this video, we will clearly understand that how switch statements with string supported backward compatibility and we will have a clear idea how does this work internally. So let's go ahead and see it with an example. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a color and for case red, I'm doing some task for case green, I'm doing some other task. And for case blue, I'm doing some other task. Since this is designed by keeping backward compatibility in mind, so we have to understand how compiler tweaks this code so that it can also be run by JVM 6 or so. So let's go ahead and see what compiler does. Internally, the compiler converts the switch with strings to switch with integers as they are supported even before JDK 7. And for that, the switch parameter which is color here is being converted into color dot hash code and similarly all the cases like red green blue are being converted into red dot hash code green dot hash code and blue dot hash code since the cases are constants i mean string literals their hash codes are generated in the compile time and being replaced like this so now the switch statement with string which was there in the source code is being converted by the compiler into switch statements with integers but still it is not the full proof solution and the reason behind that is hash collision for example let's say we have some string called as abyz and if we look into the hash code of it it is equal to 298778 there might be some other strings whose hash code is same as avyz for example this string also has same hash code as avyz okay let's go back to the example and see if some other string also has hash code which is equal to some of these integers then our code might break so to avoid this hash collision problem what compiler does is it adds one additional if condition in every case but where is the code which we wrote in this switch statement compiler is not trying to have our code inside it instead of that it is just initializing a variable called var0 it might be any other name also and based upon this value compiler is generating another switch statement which has our code inside it like this so if the var0 value is 0 then the code block which we wrote for red case is being executed. If the var0 value is 1, then green. If the var0 value is 2, then blue. So the source code which has switch statement with string is now being converted into two switch statements instead. And the first switch statement is based upon the hash code of the switch parameter, whereas the second switch statement is the followed one if we compare between the source code and the compiled code one by one then here it is so the switch with color as parameter is being converted into switch with as code of it and the first case red is being converted into reds has code in the first switch statement and with variable zero case zero in the second statement similarly the case green is being converted into its hash code with respect to the first switch statement and the case 1 in the second switch statement. Similarly, with blue, 
same thing happened and finally we got this code hope you clearly understood how switch statements with string is working internally and how java people have designed it to make it backward compatible if you like this video please do share and subscribe to our channel for further videos like this thank you thanks for watching